Well, folks, Antonio T. Smith Jr. is doing it again. He's done it again. Yes, he has. Giving away so much knowledge just to help you succeed. Walk out of the middle class. Become a multimillionaire. He is giving away his book just for you. The name of that book? The Richest Man in the Trash Can. You want to make sure you get this book. Here's why. If you are someone who is tired, frustrated, irritated of the day-to-day schedule of waking up, going to work, going back home, going to sleep just to do it all over again, not being able to spend time with your family, you just got married, you just had kids, or you take care of your parents and you're not there to do it, this is the book for you. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen, this book is free 99. Yes, you heard me. Free 99. Okay? <laughs> All you for free. Yes. Free 99. All you have to do is just pay shipping and handling. That's it. $9.95 just to get your free book. This book is a life changer. I'm trying to tell you guys everything in this book is what Antonio taught myself in grace that enabled us to retire. Yes, we are retired and we haven't even hit our 40s yet. Woo! I'm just saying. I got a few months to go. Don't worry about it. Shh. Don't nobody need to know that, girl. (laughs) You don't look it. That's it. Go get it. Go get it and walk yourself out of the middle class into the life you deserve. Walk yourself into abundance. Abundance is freedom and this book is your journey out. You can plant better. You can dominate. Appreciate you being here. Thank you. I am going to tell you again that you should absolutely have the book. All right, it's free. Now the upsell is not free, but the book is free. All right, it's free, 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 <laughs> free, free, free. At the very least, if you want to learn Chris Holmes how to get customers for free and then give away a free product and come away with a twenty-four dollar, forty dollar ticket average after a free product. There's only one way to learn that. Adonia was talking about it this morning because she's wise. If you want to learn how I do stuff, there's only one way to learn that. I want everybody to practice with me. Watch it. Everybody, step one, pull out your wallet or purse. (laughs) Step two, open it. (laughs) Step three, use your cards. It's the only way. Yeah. It's the only way. There is no other way. You can learn all you want to. This is what I would do if I were you. Would you like to know what I would do? I would go through what I'm doing, print screen every page or screenshot, copy and paste every single word that I have on there. Everyone. Everyone I would. Every time it goes to the next page, I'd copy and paste every last one of those words. Mm. Every one. It's seven seven page. It's a seven page funnel in. Mm-hmm. Seven pages. I'd look at the videos and I'd say, All right, come back. And if I said something, I would say something. If I wrote, I would wrote. Because it's one thing to be smart. Mm-hmm. It's a whole other thing to get paid for being smart. Yeah. There's a lot of smart people that are broke and smart <laughs> people that work for other people. Okay. You want to be, <laughs> you want to be smart and pay. Cause here's what it is. Just because you've been in business 10 years, what you want to do is how many of you know how to write a perfect sales message that converts people within eight seconds, 10 wow. seconds of seeing you, you can write that script and you can have those words, put the right words in the right place. How many of you can do that right now? All right. Watch mm-hmm. this here. If you do it, at least said another sales phone. Yes. It's most certainly everything I do is a sales phone. Mm-hmm. Check it out. All of you if you get the free book, 
Y'all hearing it? Mm -hmm. If you copy and paste everything I've done, you now know how to write. Somebody missed it. Somebody missed it. They, somebody, they missed it. They missed it. They missed it. None of you know. Okay, Michelle's starting to get it. None of you know how to do it. Right? If you get the free book and copy and paste, like literally go in there. If you're on the Windows, hit Control All. Right? If you're on the Mac, hit Command. I mean, Control A. If you're on the Mac, hit Command A. Paste that to the note application on your phone or your Mac or whatever you have or in Word document. Then find out whether YouTube, <laughs> PC equals print screen, right? Find out which, which video I'm using and take those words I'm using. Take the format that I use. Take all the words. Know where all the buttons at. Am I making some sense? And then guess what you know how to do now, Michelle? You got a perfect sales script for your business if you take me out and put you in. Mm. How y'all think I learned this stuff? Do you understand? Mm -hmm. But you know what? This is, this is the perfect alley -oop to the real estate. When yeah. you have a middle-class mindset, you say, I'm not gonna do that. This is this is what I this is what motivational speakers do to other motivational speakers. Motivational speakers go, Huh, I'm not gonna give Michelle my money. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I can show you right now Instagram. There's a guy, we're we're, we're good friends, and his name is Kareem Ellis. Yeah, I may know him. Kareem is doing a book giveaway. He says, text me, get the book. Guess what I did? Because <laughs> I want to see what the hell he doing. Yeah, man. <laughs> I don't care what it costs. I'm going to need to know what another high performer is doing just in case I ain't doing it. You understand what I'm saying? Nice. Yeah, I get what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Making sense. You do what you do, and you get that done fast. Does that make sense to you? All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Anywho, let me just give you one more piece of permission. You have to know the competition. Let me just give you one more piece of advice. If I do anything, <laughs> and if you follow me, steal all that. Please, please don't be humble. Please snatch that. You understand? Yeah. 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 <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Human Consultants University or something. I don't know. I don't care. Right? Whatever you got the energy to do, do that. Antonio, why would wow. you give your book away for free? Why would you do that? I'm, it's literally a book. It actually, I actually lose $4 every time I give away the book. I lose four, at least four dollars. If it's international, I'm losing seven dollars. Antonio, that don't make no sense. That's because you're thinking like an amateur, and you're thinking about money lost on leader. the front end, mm -hmm. right? It's a lost leader. That's right. It, explain what a lost leader is. It's when you have a. You them good friday sales them 10 only 10 of them it's only 10 for sale but this the doorbuster so they may lose um a hundred dollars or fifty dollars on that television that they get you in the store for but they got you in the store and they sell you a bunch of other things so that 60 inch screen television that draw that got you into the store or walmart you know and it's in a small print it says we only have five though it's only five <laughs> but hmm. um the line is 200 around the corner and you don't find out that it's only five until you get there in the line. You read looking over there and looking on the on the circulating line and realize oh, it's only five. You ain't got a chance to get this TV anyway. But you're in the store and then all those other things that's marked down at a Barbie, you get to bring 
and you buy those things. I'm here, I might as well buy some. I stood long that line that long. So. Okay. Absolutely right. Except in my case, closer, closer. Yeah, except in my case, I'm not saying it's just five. I'm trying to give away 10 million. Now, Michelle G got it. Michelle, unmute your pretty mic. Yes, sir. What, what's the point, Michelle? Because when you give it, every time you give it away and they're reading, they're going to come right back. You're drawing those customers. they coming back. They want more. Just like Maurice yeah. was saying with the TV. Yeah, they may, it's only five there, but they want that TV. They want not just that TV in particular, but they want a TV. So they're going to get another, di a different TV. So they're going to, even though they may not get that one that was on sale, they're going to get a TV. So that's right. So y'all pay attention. Even if I lose $4, some, someone, I, I mentioned it, but who, who knows how many books I want to give away for free? Didn't you say 10,000? 10, 10 million. Wow. 10 you million. 10 million people. I'm sold. 10 million people. Now, y'all ready for this? Mm. That's 10 million people that would have paid me and said, please take my money so we can be your customer. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Where, where's the doggy? I need a doggy to underneath yeah. her mic. Cause she, cause she, I know she got doggy. Go ahead, man. You could say something. No, not, not to mention the law of reciprocity. Not to mention the fact that um, the law of reciprocity being one, and not to also to mention that each one person represents at least another six to ten people that you touch. Yes, come on, man. Come on. So it, it, it's just, you know, the reciprocity factor in it is enough. Get it. To let Michelle you know. gets it. Yep. Yeah. Now think about it this way. This ain't got nothing to do with the 1.2 million customers are getting ready to come in here. This ain't got nothing to do with that. This ain't got nothing to do with the business university. This ain't got nothing to do with the bureau. This ain't got nothing to do with the network market. This ain't got nothing to do with none of that. Y'all ready for this? This is personal brand customers. I need somebody and that is ready to steal from me. Go ahead, Michelle. Hey, Tony, I was just getting ready to say, you know, even out of that 10 million, you gonna get at least, I, I, I'll just say a low ball number five million of those. That's you understand? Come, okay, I want to learn this. And then they're gonna share with other people, like Maurice was saying, that property is gonna kick in. They're gonna keep sharing, and those people gonna share, and those are gonna share just like with the business university. Everything it because what we're learning, we're sharing with other people and they're coming in. So it's gonna continue and it's gonna continue and continue and continue. So that right there, man, <laughs> that's that's yep. a whole nother force. No doubt. Now think about it this way. How many of y'all would like 10 million new customers? I have always asked to see from you. <laughs> That's why Lisa's my friend. <laughs> and she say, and you always say, yeah. She's right. I've never, ever, Michelle's like, I want 10 million. I want 10 million donors. 10 million people giving me you $1 a month, Michelle. Would that, would that help your nonprofit? You, 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 <laughs> right? She said, I could do plenty with that. Y'all, steal from me. You know what? We was going to make this about real estate. And we're going to, we're going to, Maurice, what I want to do is what we need to start yes. doing. We need to we need to lay down the foundation for them to learn how to make an offer. Yes. And okay. and now uh, the way the way I make offers is I use a sixty five percent rule. Well, but basically, I I look for distressed properties and I'm mm -hmm. looking for sixty five percent. Like I'm you know, but that basically means y'all is I offer sixty five percent on the dollar. But we'll get to that. Most of my offers are rejected. Yeah. It's designed that way. Because I'm only looking for, you know, certain things, but I make 50 offers a week, mm -hmm. and they're all cash offers. But we're gonna talk about that. But let's 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 do this here. Let's keep talking about this because I'm laying down the foundation. If you don't, under, real estate agents are terrible salespeople.
But if they mm -hmm. steal from me, imagine a real estate agent giving away a free book. Mm. Wow. You, you don't got to worry about clients. Because guess yeah. what's going to happen? Watch this here. Grace, every person that touched this, and they, if you can look, the, the website tells you people buying left and right. If you just pop on it, you're going to see who the last person who purchased. It's going to tell you. Grace, soon as someone hits, what does Deanna do towards you? She gives me their name, their number, what they, what they got, if they got another upgrade, and she sends the name and number to me, and I'm like, hello, Antonio, how are you today? I want to congratulate you on getting the richest man in the trash can. Hold on, stop right there, stop right there. Watch this here, y'all. Watch this here, watch this here. Grace, they got the book, <laughs> and they did the $5 order bump for the company. Mm -hmm. What you could have did. Her okay. name is Michelle G. Michelle G. I, this is Grace from the ATS They Are Companies. Just wanted to call and congratulate you on getting the richest man in the trash can and conference 100K. Oh, I, I'm so excited for you. Just wanted to know more about you, asking you, Michelle, I'm already asking you this. Hey, what, what made you get the, the book and the conference 100K? Okay, like that. And, and then that's a 10 minute, five minute, minute conversation. Okay. okay. Five, five minutes later, Grace. This is Michelle. G Michelle, I'm glad for you with the book and the Compass 100K. I wanted to let you know that Antonio has an audio library, jam packed, 200 plus hours of nonstop learning. Antonio's audio. A uh, library is massive. It's huge. He reads constantly, nonstop. If I told you the amount of books he reads every month, you wouldn't you wouldn't believe me. But this will totally help you along with the book and the Compass 100K to get you to your dreams and goals further and faster. It is a fifteen thousand dollar value, but today for you, it's forty seven dollars. You don't want to miss it. Now, of course, she goes into all the details. This, 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 and that. Every single person that completes all the way through gets everything or doesn't. They all get what, Grace? The audio library. No, no. Oh. A free book. Oh, they get a phone call. They get a phone all right. call. Y'all pause for a second. Y'all pause. Mm. Y'all pause. Steal from me. Okay. Okay. I could put that out there. <laughs> and let Amazon get all that data. Or I could control that data. Rewind, press play. <laughs> I could have Barnes & Noble release Michelle's getting it. This is, a, this is a Michelle getting it day. I yeah. could have Barnes & Noble get all that information. All y'all are trying to be best-selling authors. Yeah. You keep forgetting that selling is part of the best selling author. <laughs> so you write in, in the right. title, not best writer. <laughs> yeah, best, best seller. seller. <laughs> 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 you understand? Know if I send that to Amazon, Barnes and Noble, whatever, I can't call those people. <laughs> Lisa said, mm. "Thanks, I stole all this." <laughs> but listen, you should go all through the funnel. <laughs> She saw all of it. She always actually Lisa, Lisa calls all those once a week asking if she could have this. And I and what and like she said in the chat, I say you sure can. Wow. Y'all, the goal is to create a hundred thousand millionaires, not pretend that I did. Yeah. Mm. I have a budget just to go through people's <coughs> sales process and funnels. I got a whole email dedicated, ATS at theatsjr.com. It's the email I use just for funnels. I created a whole email just so I can join people's funnels. Now, Grace, without being humble, why would I want to join these people's funnels? Just feel it. Facts. <laughs> just say it. <laughs> why don't you? Why don't you just say <laughs> it? You understand, Maurice? I'm trying to get all this. 
Oh, wow. Jeff Bezos, you did something great. Me too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Oh, Elon Musk, you did something great. Me too. Yeah. Antonio, how did you become successful? I stole everything they did. You did that for real? Yeah, it's called emulation. Mm -hmm. Nice little fancy word for getting in line with success and steal. <laughs> Go ahead, Michelle. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to get it today. Transparency. The exact reason I know why, I know I understand everything you're saying, is because there's a company, um, it's called Urban Awareness. It's a, um, they deal with nonprofits, churches, for profits, mm -hmm. it's all that. They have um, letters and they, they give you the templates and everything right there on their site and everything. So I did, I joined that because they were sending me grant information every day. I mean, I was getting like four or five emails a day of different grants. So I went ahead and I joined it when I could. And when I did, and I start, went on there and I started looking, they had those templates and it's templates of um, like the letters of intent and all that kind of stuff. So what I did mm -hmm. was- Tell them I, what you did, Michelle. There I, you go. And change that information in there that had other people's information. I changed it to fit my organization and okay. been sending those letters and stuff out. So let's clap for her, please. Let's clap for her. Let's clap for her. That's right. Well, Russell Brunson calls that <laughs> is it urban <laughs> awareness. Russell urban Brunson awareness. calls that funnel hacking. Funnel hacking. So Maurice, this is what we're gonna do. We're changing the name of this class to funnel. Let me see. I wrote it down. Uh, funnels for real estate agents. Nice. Okay, or investors. Wow. That's what yeah. we're talking about. All right. Nice. Because I need y'all to start getting together with the funnels. But mm -hmm. this is what y'all do. And it's not even your fault. You just program. This is what you right. do. You go. Oh, I'm not fit to. I'm already paying. I'm not about to. And that's why you stay a customer and not the mogul. I can't wait to buy something else because I'm stealing it. <laughs> Sorry, man. Yeah. This man, it's real. This yeah. is how it works. You need to plug up your laptop. It's not plugged. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do, do y'all understand? Go mm -hmm. through it. Well, you know what? Let me show you. Satish, you said something in private to us that works real well <laughs> here. How many constantly working employees? have you seen here? Don't forget that new bike. It's eight years? Eight years. Five. Good job. Five of them. Now watch this here, y'all. What have you noticed between here and wherever there is? <laughs> To work, it doesn't matter where you are. Now, as far as money being, what do you notice know, between folks from 90, 100 employees in the park? Remember that stuff you said? The park that was probably okay. Go ahead. Yeah. So I was explaining about one company which has 275 employees with departments and they make $53 million every year. And $53 million revenue, 275 employees. And that clearly shows how much time and energy they are wasting. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. I could do with five people, Maurice, mm -hmm. what 300 person companies do. And technology, yeah. 
Technology is so I explained to them yesterday, technology has one purpose on planet Earth to make your life easy. That's the only thing technology does. When we got out of the caves, the wheel made the life easier. Fire made the life easier, right? Fire's technology, wheel, all that stuff. So Maurice. Yes, sir. They should, you should, all of you should this let me tell you what let me tell you what a don't well I she didn't want me to say all that. <laughs> Adonia is going the extra one one hundred miles. Let me just say that, okay? She's going a hundred uh, miles extra. She's not gonna let me tell you what she's doing. I know she's not. I, I know her enough to know she ain't gonna want want her her for let anyway, she ain't gonna want all that. No. But Maurice. Yes, sir. I'm explaining to my friend Maya with the prettiest smile in the ATS. <laughs> I'm explaining that Maya should go in and steal everything I did. Mm. And every time I emailed y'all, y'all should have copy and paste that email <laughs> and had that for your copy. You understand? Mm -hmm. Every time. Now watch this here. Maurice, agents are taught to do a lot of stuff, but in your opinion, do they follow the successful agents and email the way they email, design their pages the way they design their pages, and write books or whatever you can do and give it away for free? Because why would you do that? Because if you give away 100,000 things for free and they gave you they let, 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 let me back up real quick. Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready? I want everybody leaning. Everybody, let me see. If you can cut your camera on, cut your, just on, just, just for a second and you can cut it back off. If you have the ability to cut your camera on, cut it on just for a second. Just, I just, I just, I want to feel you. Thank you, Corey. I appreciate. It. I just want, I want to see you. There you go. They got that. Look at that smile. Look at that. Look at my that prettiest smile at ATS. There she is. There she is. There's. Look at it. You see it. You see a pretty smile at ATS. She, she, she brushed her teeth with the white everything. The, the clouds. All right. This is pretty. <laughs> all right. So now that I can see y'all, I want y'all to receive this. Y'all ready? Just for a second. You cut your camera right back off. When I give away 10 million copies of this book, it's already over hundreds. I'm going to have name, number, email, and address, and credit card. All right, you can cut the cameras back off now. You, 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 you go ahead and relax. Cut the cameras back off. I just want, to, I just want you to feel that. I just wanted you, 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 are you with me, Maya? I just wanted you to feel that. Now, Maurice, can you? Okay, you feel me. You feel me. Uh, you, hey, you start texting me again, too. Okay? I've been, I've, been, I've been dying. I've been holding my breath. I ain't getting no text messages from you. I've been holding. She be checking on me. Your chakras in alignment and all that stuff, right? I ain't, I ain't got none of that three weeks. I ain't got none of that three weeks, all right? All right. I want all of you. I, I know Catherine has to be enjoying this. I want all of you to know. She spoke with a sales trait. I want all of you to know that when I am done, I will have 10 million name, number, email, address wow. with the zip. That's it. Good God almighty. And credit card information. Let me lean back. So the next time <laughs> you think Okay, she said, I received that. Nah, if I publish through Amazon, I can't do that. Mm -hmm. you know what Amazon's I'm not telling you not to publish. No, Amazon's doing it, no doubt. I'm not telling you not to do that. But guess what I'm getting ready to do? Deanna, unmute your mic real quick and tell them what I'm getting ready to do. It's so happy and great. Go ahead, go ahead and run about. So Antonio is about to re-release. Re so happy and grateful. Nice. And he is going to create 
he's going to create a sales funnel for it. And he is going to do the same thing that he's doing with the richest man in the trash can. He is going to give it away for free. Mm -hmm. Wow. And get name, number, email, physical address with zip. Y'all do know every last one of these people. And this, it's, we're, so I'm, at this point, I'm global. Wow. At this point, I reach, well, name some of the, you can get access to. Which one? You want to, I'll just off the top of y'all heads. Satish, so, so unmute your mic real quick. What's yeah, my second. second biggest market? Well, you got it. it's, it's muted back again, and then your camera's off too. What's, What's my, my second, second, second biggest market? In terms of region? Yes. Oh, India. Uh, uh, wow. India. Now watch this here. Can you tell them the cities? Bangalore, Hyderabad, Mumbai, Pune, Delhi, and all major cities where we have got <laughs> more than 1.3 million IT employees. Okay, watch this here. And Satish said, okay, there you go. And Satish said, you know what we should do, Antonio? I want to print, I'm going to stop right there. Go ahead. Uh, whatever I told him yesterday, it passed, but today I'll give you the today's update. I have <laughs> already spoken to the uh, printing company in India and I have already placed an order for 10,000 copies yeah, of the book. Hey, I um, didn't know that. know <laughs> <laughs> that. Yeah. And, and also, uh, there is one organization in India which hosts about 260,000 startup companies network. I have already got into the network and we are going to launch our first event along with Antonio in India addressing all the startup company CEOs. So. Watch this here. Watch this here. Nah, I ain't no ten thousand. We definitely will talk. <laughs> it was one thousand yesterday. Anyways, he ten x. I guess he's been reading ten x. <laughs> that and wow. they can't get it. The book without giving me name, number, email address, physical address, and I'm gonna need that credit card too. Go ahead, Grace. Good grief. Come on, man. I can't. I keep hearing you say, with zip code, what's the importance of the zip code? Thank you very much, Grace. Because I want to mm. Maya, because I want to say, Maya, this is where I'm hot at, these zip codes. You feel like traveling? I need somebody with some pretty white teeth to host me and Deanna. Can you, can you handle that for me? And then, Maya, you're going to mm -hmm. say, <laughs> see, I'm gone. I'm gone. Let me, I got my bag and my toothpaste. I'm on the way, right? Let me just go see my dentist real quick. I got you. Let me see my dentist real quick to make sure it's still white and we out the way. We gone. Here's the point, y'all. Zip codes tell me where I'm <laughs> overflowing. And guess what I'm going to do with that? I'm doing a tour. Mm -hmm. Wow. Powerful. Go ahead, Satish. Yeah, the way we are building the system, it will do the analytics part where which region has more fans of customer and also how many people went in to the link and checked it but they did not purchase the book and how many bought it so all this analytics will help diana to decide which locations antonio is going to travel so antonio will not travel to places just because he likes it he will travel to places where he has got the potential and also this is all predictive traveling just yeah, yeah, Hennis. I need to receive it. Okay, it's already done. This is this is happening. This is happening whether you wanted to or not. So what you should do is what I would do: get in the funnel and steal everything. <laughs> this is what I would do. 
It's exactly what I would do. I wouldn't do anything. Because, you know, I'm insanely competitive. Grace, if, give me, just give me a name. If, if Joe Lowstein was to do anything and it popped across my radar, what would I do, Grace? Tell him what I would do. Oh, Joe, I see you doing that, huh? Me too. <laughs> and then, and then what would I tell you? Um, you would tell us, hey, I'm about to do this. I need y'all to do this, 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 this. Just get all that. Right. Exactly. And if it ain't in my skill set, my, this is how it happens. I want this right now. Stop whatever you're doing. And they look at me. No, no. Right now. I want it right now. Joe got me messed up. Joe got me messed <laughs> up. I want it You sure can. And, and then tell them about how many trips, too. I want this right now, and I want this here. And they'd be like, okay, we'll get it done. All because somebody bigger than me did something, and I said they got me messed up. Mm -hmm. I do this all the time. Y'all, I've built this company. Competed. Mm -hmm. I, I think I said something similar to this a couple of trains ago. Don't make no sense for you to compete with me in the 100 meter dash. All you're going to do is win. But you're going <laughs> to be a loser if you're wow. trying to go to the Olympics. If you want to go to the Olympics, you need to be racing Usain Bolt. Don't race me. You understand? Nice. I'm not competing with Les Brown or John Maxwell, anybody y'all think, I ain't, y'all know who I'm going after? Netflix and Fortnite. Because Fortnite got all the kids. Yeah. Netflix got grown folks. Wow. The new pastime is to browse Netflix for 40 minutes to see what you're going to watch. And I want you doing that. I want you browsing ACF for 40 minutes talking about ain't nothing on here. <laughs> it's like open up a refrigerator full of food. Talk about ain't hey, nothing here to eat, <laughs> right? I need that problem. That's the problem I need. So Tease, go ahead and give us some more information because right? I'm t I'm having him give y'all this information so you can steal it, and then I'm gonna have Maurice educate. So Maurice, you should be documenting all this stuff because you're gonna take the next part of this class and you're gonna apply it all to what you wish you would have did and what you wish real estate agents would do. That's why I'm doing this here. Go ahead. Gotcha. I have two things to tell you. First one, if you're watching Netflix for 30 minutes and if you don't get an idea to make $30 an hour extra, then don't watch it. Don't, you're wasting time. Mm -hmm. Or you're pouring more money to people like Antonio's pocket. So don't do that. And second one, continuation of Antonio's funnel idea. I'm sitting here for the last 18 days and I have already stole enough information from Antonio. This is what I learned. When you create a funnel, every stage, you should. it is an opportunity for you to make money. So I picked up his book, Think and Grow Rich. Sorry, the richest man no, with Rush no, I, I appreciate that mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I love that mistake. Yeah. <laughs> right? So I did not write the book. He wrote the book and he's creating all the videos. And I'm only looking for the opportunity where I can go distribute the book. I am not selling the book. I'm distributing. And I'm bringing him those 10,000 or 100,000 users who will buy the book. And Antonio is coming to India to conduct the workshop or speak to those people. And all these 260,000 startup companies will come in, attend his workshop, attend his speech, all that. And out of which whoever bought the book, I will pass on those numbers to Grace and she will contact them, probably upsell or do whatever she wants to. And whoever bought this second layer product from Antonio, those are the people I will invite them to join CEO University, which is going to be started in India. So this type of university does not exist anywhere in the world. Training only for CEOs. So this is a new concept. And who will 
be the chief or who will be the crew who will teach those people you all because you all have been getting trained by antonio so you all will come in and train them so i am creating opportunity for entire ats leadership team or sales team to come and demonstrate their skills right so what am i doing i am doing nothing but just creating the platform and i told antonio for every dollar you make i am going to take my share right so not only antonio but whatever opportunities we are surrounded by we have something to take it and go we may not be able to copy exactly what he is doing but that's the lesson yes now i'm maya okay if i was maya this is what i would do you all ready mm -hmm. i'm telling you exactly what i would do jump in my text message antonio you did that well, actually, the first thing I would do is I would buy the book. That's the first thing I would do. I, let, let me tell you why. Satish, how did you land this multi-million dollar deal? How did you land it two years ago? What did you do? What did, you, did, you, did you say, hey, do business with me? Or did you join? No. Oh. <laughs> I met Antonio in Les Brown event and he was giving away free testimonials without even people asking him. Stop right there. Stop right there. Stop, Stop right there. there. I'm going to let you pick back here. Y'all know I did that. It's a f***ing sales funnel. I... I, I I made a sales funnel in person. I was literally giving away free testimonies. I did like 30 that day because I didn't know who was going to be impactful. So I said, what's your name? Tell me what you do. All right, tell me what you're willing to die for. And then me being me, the salesperson, I was lacing it up. Because everybody else is exchanging business cards Nobody got time for that. Maya, if everybody's saying the business card, I don't want to do that crap. I don't want to be like you. I want to steal from you. There's a difference. And I don't want to steal from poor people at all. So I'm giving out free test. Was there anybody else giving out free testimony? No. Wouldn't everybody want to post on their social media? Yep. And wouldn't everybody put that on their website? Yes. Yes. That was a sales funnel. It was just not on the internet. Okay, go ahead. Hey, everybody was <clears throat> giving away their business cards, but he was giving away testimonials. Right? So, <clears throat> this is what I learned. What form you give away your identity, that brings you back to business. And I was one of them who fell into that funnel. <laughs> and, <laughs> and this is what happened it is not just it was not just a sales funnel testimonial what he gave away this is what happened with me it touched my mind saying that okay when somebody's oh this is the quote which i came up recently if you can't trust yourself trust somebody who trusts you mm. so Antonio's words were ringing in my head saying that oh, Antonio said I can do this I can do this I can do this why can't I do it if he saw in me that I can do it I didn't know that it was a sales funnel right so but that touched me and I came back to Antonio and <clears throat> I knew Antonio will not talk to me if I go to him to do business so then I joined his training all program. right that's what I want you to say Maya get, Maya get back here get back here Maya that's what I want you to say so if I was Maya, okay, there she go. If I was Maya, what I would do, especially, so Maya has established a nice, strong relationship. Boom. I would say, hey, I, let me buy this book first. You get it? Now, I'm in a position of power. I ain't asking for nothing. 
I am a paying customer. Okay, don't do that. I'm a paying customer, right? He gonna talk to me. You got that all right? I'm gonna talk to you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You, you get all my attention. Hey, what's going on? You doing all right? Yeah, yeah, all right then, right? Okay. Now she got the book. Hey, you built that funnel. That's fantastic. And I would just, just boost my little ego. Oh, best funnel I've ever seen. Oh my God, the sales. Oh, you're just so smart. You're just so. This this is what the other does, y'all. This is what the other does. You're so smart. Uh, this is what she does to me. You're just so smart. You're so this, this. And then she asks me for something, right? She pumps her head up. <laughs> not, not that I'm high off compliments. Then I go, okay. Then she say, can I get $10,000? Okay, no problem, right? And I'm, and I'm full of the high of compliments. She knows exactly what she's doing. Then Maya should make her pitch. Now, I'm starting my company, boom. And I would like, y'all ready for this? I would love to help you reach that 10 million people. I would love that. I would love that. You know what I'm thinking, my Antonio? I'm thinking at the very end of your funnel, if I can just attach my product. Mm. Come on now. You're going to reach 10 million. Now, now, do I give a crap <laughs> if it's at the end? Is she messing up my system? Is she, is she going to promote the funnel to try to promote herself? <laughs> okay, I got two new customers I can sign up. I, I can upsell to now for the struggling family. Are we going to... <laughs> Uh, thou shall receive it's a nice call right after this. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? This, this, Lisa's my friend. I, I love me some Lisa. Lisa, Lisa, we got the same heart. <laughs> yes, Lisa, that's it. Yes, 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 yes. And whatever you want to do, yes, because you talk about language with this money. You know what I'm saying? Well, go ahead and, um, so you want to put your business at the end of mine. But you're going to help me get to 10 million? Hell yeah, you can. And then she says, good. Well, how you want to split the money? I said, girl, that's your money. Right, that's your stuff. Here's an affiliate code. You'll know. I'm making some sense here, Satish. I am. Here's an affiliate code. You'll know who bought what. Ah. I look at, I just got. <laughs> this got to be a private message. Yes, yes, right. <laughs> Lisa did this yesterday, didn't she? Got the code. Lisa already ahead of y'all. This is what you do. I mean, Maya, Lady Maya, you can either go spend money, get you a Satish in them. Right, and go do what I did, or use my money. Cause I promise you, you okay, you understand. I promise you, I want to done your whole office. <laughs> Anything I can do. Hey, you know, right? Need some new shoes? Yeah, right. Anything I can do. All right, Lisa. So, how do we use your money? What you do, Lisa, is you're already using my money, right? So in this case, if you've got your affiliate code that's using my money. Another way is that we work out the same funnel and then add your <laughs> product as the eighth page, and you use my money to promote your business. They got to go through it. She said, cool. That make sense? That's what I would do, Maya. That's, that, that's the universe hitting you in the face. Hey, you heard that, boy? Right? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I'm going to do. But get ready, Maurice. This is what we do. I'm not fit to Because you're looking at someone in your field saying, I'm not fit to give them money so they can beat me. 
And that's why you don't have enough resources. Does that make sense to you? Don't nobody bother me, y'all. I was, I can't tell you that yet. <clears throat> I'll tell you when it's done. I'll tell you, it was a, uh, anyway, I, it's a, it's a, it's a, I tell you when it's done. Because <laughs> y'all know, because y'all know the people. <laughs> you absolutely know the people. I'll end with this here. Deanna, unmute yeah. your mic. And then Maurice, you, you'll take about 15, 20 minutes. We'll go over time. Paul, this is the real estate. Yeah. And which, and I, want, I, I mainly want two things, and then you could do anything extra on top of that. You feel me? Okay. I want what mm -hmm. you wish you would have did. Gotcha. And yeah. what you wish these agents would do. That's what I want. Gotcha. Now, okay. you could add plenty on top of that. But those are two things that I want because they need to hear it. Then I don't show you know after that. This is how slick I am, Maya. But now of course the slick comes with a with a with a good heart. This is how slick I am. There's a guy y'all may have heard of him. He's you know, he's not a big deal, just the number one motivation speaking in the world right now. Eric, <laughs> hip hop preacher Thomas. You know, you, know, you probably never heard of him, you know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know. <laughs> it's your boy E. T. You probably never heard of him. You know. Nah, maybe nah. Not. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah, just, just, just once or twice. Once or twice, you know, you may have heard him. And Deanna is cool with her, his assistant. His, that's his assistant, right? Uh, basic. Whoever controls his calendar, so whatever her title is, Deanna controls my calendar, and whoever controls his calendar, Deanna and them are text buddies. Got it. It's right. Did I text each other soon? Okay, yeah. Text buddies. I told, I told Deanna to send a text message, which I'm going to have you resend. <clears throat> okay? I told Deanna to send a text message. Tell her what the text message was. Pay attention, Mike, because you better do this. <laughs> hey, Antonio wanted me to let you know that he said he... I'm trying to remember the verbiage, but, but he was basically saying it's in me to help you sell out your conference wanting nothing in return mm. let me know what i need mm -mm. to do to help you wow good job because y'all know i can mm. that the selling ain't no problem that, that ain't no problem i say yo let me help you make all this money i don't want nothing in return and why would i do that mm. why would i do that because when I do ask for something, I ain't asked it from a position of wanting something. Uh, it's better. If I'm going to date Adonis, or if I'm going to date Satish, I'm going to make you gay now, okay? <laughs> um, Far better <laughs> for me to date him being qualified. I can't grow up on Adonis. Hey, you cute. Let's go out. You pay for everything. What? <laughs> what? Hey, oh yeah. Ooh, you sexy. Look, I can't wait to ruin your life. And I need for you <laughs> to pay for everything. Oh pay yeah. I'm so, I'm a, I'm a, uh, I'm a sitting in my drawers, play the game all day. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. That's what I bring to the table. Or, or I'll hold open your door, do everything. Respect the alpha woman that you are, the alpha male that you are, right? Do all that stuff. Ain't no problem. I qualify myself. I hold my own. I don't need you, but I choose to be there. <laughs> now we having a different conversation, ain't we? Mm -hmm. Right? Now we say, huh. I've been tested him 100 times. He ain't failed. I'm waiting on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? That's how you come at people. One last thing. Here's what y'all understand. Now, Maurice definitely addressed this here. Okay. <laughs> Lisa said not. <laughs> she said I not. Right. I know that's right. Yeah, let me just waste your time for about, you know, I want you to waste your whole 40s on me. Goodness the whole decade. Just waste all that on me. Yes. Yes. 
Don't even wake up till you're 65 and realize you wasted your life. That's how much I want to waste your life. <laughs> Look, <laughs> my, Maya and Adelia at the same time. <laughs> this is what I want y'all to know. That whole win-win situation is BS. That's what y'all been taught. Get ready to apply this to real estate too, man. All right. The people who come in my inbox with a win-win, I literally had it. I literally had a guy on LinkedIn come out inbox super correctly. Then when he found out how big of a deal was, he pitched me anyway. What a dummy. Mm. What a dummy. You did everything right. And then you pitched me. No. <laughs> and he pitched me. I know people. This is how he pitched me. He pitched me with a win-win. Oh, yeah. Uh, I know people who may be able to help you. And... You know, so maybe we set up a phone call. First off, I don't got time to talk to you. I don't know why people think people like me have time to get on the phone. It just baffles me why y'all think that I would jump on the phone with you. I just don't get that, okay? You know what I'm saying? I just don't get that. I pay close attention to my network. But outside of that, I ain't got time. Come on now. You're not, you're not paying? Mm-hmm. So you hit me with a win-win. Worst thing in the world. You don't hit me with a win-win situation. If y'all want advice, I'm giving it to you right now. F your win-win situation. (laughs) That's what poor people taught you. Yeah, it's a training. Poor, yes, poor people taught you. Middle class people taught you to make sure it's a win-win. Create a no-lose situation for me. Nice. Here's what a no-lose situation looks like. Antonio. You're trying to get away $10 million. I'm $10 million copy. I'm going to do that. I've created such and such and such and such to get that done. Don't worry about it. I paid for it. Don't worry about it. Pay my team. If you like it, it's all yours. Source code, everything, it's yours. You can have it. If you don't like it, no problem. Thank you for the opportunity for me to do that for you. If you do like it, and you really like this and add value to your life, I would really love to talk to you more in detail about how I can continue to help you and how we can work together. And I would say yes to that every time. Wow. Big. Don't create a win-win, create a no-lose. I know I'm talking. I know damn well I'm talking. You create win-win with your peers. Right. We not fishing buddies. I am not your peer. You create a no lose for me. Yeah. That's nice. how you come at Oprah. <laughs> you don't come at Oprah talking about win win. She already winning. Right. <laughs> your your win win <laughs> is a loss for her. You create a no lose. The most powerful thing I said in twenty twenty. Absolutely. No problem thing I said this year. You create a no lose. Now apply all yeah. that to all that, Maurice. Yeah. We'll go over a little bit, but all that applied to real estate. Wow. A lot Maya, of good stuff. I gave you the game today, Maya. You better execute it. You show sure? okay. All right. Go ahead, Maurice. Yes, sir. Wow. Good stuff, man. Create a no lose. That's powerful, man. Um and so um, the things that I wish I would have done, and I had written down to a couple of things. One of them is um, I wish I would have picked out what I was good at in the beginning of real estate and applied it by writing a book or picking a subject topic that I was good at. Because um, what what some and most agents do when they first get into business is they don't give themselves credit for what they bring to the table because you do bring something to the table. And, you know, I'm always constantly, you know, telling agents when you go and you're interviewing with a broker, you interview him too. Don't sit there as if you're, you know, um, you don't have as much to bring to the equation as he do, not in a disrespectful way, but just giving yourself the credit that you, you do have. So like you said, you know, pick something that, that I was good at and um, become an expert at that. And find a way to put that, whether it be a book, 
a podcast or some form of information and be that expert, become the expert in that field and in that industry. And there's a saying in real estate that said that once you do it one time, you become that expert. <laughs> so, you know, if you did that transaction, you walk yourself through once you walk through a transaction. So that being the case, if you, um, you're what you like and what you're comfortable in and what, you know, I'm, I was comfortable with being a listing agent. I didn't want to be the person driving people around in the sales and, you know, getting it and then buying the house and then um, ch uh, killing a deal after you have to bring your, your uncle in or whatever. I just didn't want to be that person to drive people around, but there's some people that love to do that. So I, if I would have loved to apply that in real estate by creating um, the information and making it available, whether that would have been a, 25, 30 page book, uh, ebook on um, that, what I am good at is something that, um, even if like you said about borrowing from someone else, because when I first got in the business, I didn't have any experience. I had to borrow from the, the 25 years, years of experience that the company that I worked for. When I went to people, I wasn't lying to them. Our company has 25 years of experience. The company I worked for, has 25 years of experience. I'm on day one. Of uh, that's no good. Experience. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> My company has 25 years of experience. And that was the truth, you know, until I grow, until I got my own experience and got, you know, of, of, of where um, I was, I had something to offer, you know. Um, so what that would have been one, one of the things what I would have liked to do is to create you know, and staying, being real and true to myself, though, too, and life experiences. Antonio said something, and I didn't, you know, and a lot of times, cosmic, I, I don't know if um, you say, what do you call it, cosmic dissonance set in, <laughs> because it's like a total yes, retraining, you know? It's like retraining. You hear something like, man, I got to rethink that, like right in the moment, you know, and retrain, retrain the thought process, you know, of what you said. Um, so, and I would say just be doing something that you're comfortable with and that, I'm, that, 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 that you were good at. When I first got in the business, because I had did my own investment, I came to the table with property management experience because I managed my own property. You know, I wasn't the best at it, but I was fumbling and making some mistakes. And, you know, <laughs> but I, I brought something <laughs> like that, that Henry, your, your dude was Tony, right? Henry and Tony, you know, with the, the electrician. <laughs> $40 electrician, man. You know, you had those experiences that you brought to the table, you know, what not to do and how to not to do the job cheap because you're going to do it twice. You're going to end up paying the full price anyway. Um, and I also brought to the table how to value properties. You know, I, that came to me like as a niche. So just being comfortable with that, that's something that someone don't know how to do, you know, and that's something, you know, had I known now, that's a whole full sales funnel. No problem. That's a whole full sales funnel of a training to someone that don't know how to do a BPO, broker price opinion, or give value to a property. Um, um, give value to a property or someone that don't know how to, that's afraid, you'd be surprised at how many people are afraid to take on the ma management of properties for their clients. Because when last week when I was at the training, I taught two days of property management class. One day I was supposed to teach and the second day I wasn't. The property person that didn't, uh, that was supposed to come didn't show up. Uh, my name wasn't on the, on the agenda at all. And I, I took that opportunity anyway. It still got before, you know, 50 people. And like you said, take that opportunity to give away information and, you know, give away information and share, you know, and getting in front of people as much as possible and sharing with what you have. You'd be surprised at what, what you do have to give to, uh, to, uh, to individuals. And what I'm learning um, here is, you know, how to kind of compartmentalize that stuff, you know, and put it in a place and in a space that it can be used and just breaking it down, you know, because that was, so the training we get, you know, we don't get that training because not in a way of real estate, we don't, it's not really taught that way because the sales training that, that, that is taught is really taught to keep you in their funnel, so to speak. To keep you in the real estate broker's funnel. And in Look some at states, that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I'm willing to venture to say, even in New Jersey and in some places, the broker will go out right and tell you, you know, you don't need a broker's license. I had two people tell me that. 
you know, when I first got licensed in Pennsylvania and I went, I think on two interviews, one interview, I ain't gonna mention the names of the company. One was an independent and they took me out to lunch and we sat down and, you know, you feel that energy. It's like, nah, this ain't gonna work. You know, you're sitting there and it just really wasn't kind of a good fit. Everybody knew it at the table. We sat down and, you know, um, didn't really work. And I went with a larger company and sat down with them and I was happy. I, you know, I had got my license and stood behind my barber chair for 30 days before anybody even knew about it. Got the license, I, you know, sat there and with it. And it got out, somebody mentioned, one of, somebody else exposed it, spilled it. Oh, you got your broker's license? And it was more a big thing. And it went to the broker and um, told the broker and then the broker called me in the office and said, you know, hey, what, I heard you got your license. What are you planning to do with it? So what they were doing at that time was, wait a minute, you got a broker's license. This person has the potential to become, so what I need to do is offer him a job. I need to offer you a job, but it was disguised as a partnership. After a couple of meetings, I realized that it was a, a job instead of a partnership, but then, um, but, and that was where I learned that they said, you know, well, anytime people use to get their broker's license, what I tend to do is, and this, I'm bringing this up for the very reason that Antonio said about sharing and giving it away and giving that information away because it's total opposite of the what, what's, what, what's training, what, 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 what the, the normal training is, especially in real estate. Everything is close. It's a close kept secret, close to the breast. You know, don't share that with nobody. Don't share that with nobody. And it was really foreign to me because I just didn't, I thought, you know, like you, just give it away. It's not yours anyway. You know, and close hand don't get fed. You constantly, I, that's just, you know, been um, my understanding of that, you know, so, and it's always really close to the breast and it's training is so it was, well, if you get your broker's license, what I normally do with brokers, and it was funny because it was two of us that got broker's license in that particular office and they interviewed with both of us that same day. And the other person went in the first time before I did, and then I went in and they told me straight up, they was like, yeah, so-and-so got their broker's license. I, I would never do any business with them. And um, normally what I do is, you know, what I do is I, when people get their broker's license, I go on my drawer, I have a meeting with them, sit them, sit them in my chair. I pull out their license, sit it on the desk, and I say, thank you, and have a nice day. And I'm like, wow, that's interesting. You know, and, but they were really letting me know that, look, I get, you know, I, I'm not really for brokering, you know, or, you know, nobody else getting a broker. So really training you to stay in an employee mindset, you know, in an employee mind state. So what I would do and what I do do and try and attempt to, to do and will do even more from henceforth <laughs> is to everybody that I come in contact with is to help them to become more independent. Get your broker's license, get to a place where you can be um, independent and you have the ability to, to, to be able to be a broker. Um, I can't see nothing wrong with that. You know, and to be able to be the source of information for that. So, like you, like ATS is a source of helping businesses be better businesses. You know, and this, you know, so be the source of that. And I think what I would have done, and what I would have liked to do, was to stick to what, um, stick to what I know, my comfort zone in that line of divine as far as. Um, giving information away and finding a way to make it and turn it into a funnel and make it make money, you know, make it work for you. And whether it's putting together a 20 page book on 50, I mean, 50 page book on each food chain, what we call in real estate, the commercial food chain, the property management food chain, the, the um, um, listing food chain, the sales agent food chain, the buyer's agent, the seller's agent, all of these facets of real estate that's so vast and it's wide you know, so vast. It's a lot in real estate that it's not just selling the person a home. It's not just, it's so much so, the land aspect of it, the development part of it. Um, it's just a whole lot to it that anybody in that industry that's not setting themselves out as the expert in what you do and what you do well, and first of all, becoming proficient in it first, owning it first though. Like, owning that part of it and becoming that, you know, if I'm going to be that listing agent and putting, then I'm going to be the top listing agent, 1000% learn everything about listing listings as I can and to be, you know, 
the better and to be that's what I would have done and would have liked to do you know to be um um that one person that dominated in that area to use your word you know like you know dominated in the area of real of of of, of listening and pardon me and been the go-to and training on that by example though because people know when you're real and they know when you know it real recognizes real you know so um let me know, Antonio. You know if that's where the line of a line of of, of is that. That's all perfect. Where? No, that's all okay, perfect. Cool, cool, that's cool. all perfect. Good. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So you know, dominant and first owning it. You know, owning that. You know, I'm gonna own that. What I'm doing, you know, is mine. And then because then when it comes out, it becomes contagious. Like because what, you know, when it, with ATS and it, it's contagious because he that he is. ATS. He is that. You know what I mean? What he does. You know, you all are, are that what you do. And that's why it comes across and it's so easy and so genuine to be to connect because we all are one. You know, we all the same. You know, at the end of the day, we're all pretty much, you know, the same. We have different ways of expressing that, but we're all the same. And that's why it's genuine. You know, we can get on a call and it's real. It's not scripted. You know, we can grow and learn and grow to become better and be better at our craft, whatever that is. And I think, you know, the best part of this for me is that we can meet, you all meet individuals right where they are and take them from there, you know, and take them from there in and up, you know, and take, take, take it and take it and take it up. And that's what I think, um, what I would have liked to see in the real estate world and in this real estate industry is take an agent and listen first, you know, get rid of the script, you know, it has its part and it has its place, but listen to the individual and what they need needs are. Because somebody said earlier about service, and that's what we do as leaders. You know, if we continue to serve, then it ain't never a day's worth of work for me because you're doing what you do. You know, it's not it's never work because you're serving, and then in your serving, then the money will come. You know, the money comes out of your service, but you know, applying the proper tools. You know what? you all provide you know the, the uh, i guess the, the the system you know the vehicle, that, vehicle no that makes it all work you know no doubt so next week we're going to talk about making offers and stuff because that's that's <laughs> you ain't making no money without that mm-hmm. so you won't pertain to what we learned today funneling collecting customers and knowing we're going to talk about making offers and how to do so what one piece of whatever you're going to say would set us up for next week. So um, making offers, I think just really getting whatever your area is, get your median price point or get the price point, you know, get the median price point, the low, the low, the median and the high price point for your area. Cause that will set that, that I think once you know what the low, cause every area is different and then we can, we can tailor it to work for everywhere. So if I know in Pennsylvania, because you hit the, you hit that 65% rule, you said, right? 65 cent on a dollar. Meaning I'm only buying 65% cent on the dollar, but I'm putting 50 offers in. So they're out there, but it's a numbers game. So if you look for that in your particular area, the low, the median, when I say median, the mid-range median, you know, what's the average sale price? No, I know you know that, but um, and um, the high, the low, the mid, and the high <clears throat> of what your area's price points are <clears throat> for properties, and then we can start there. I think, and I, I know that would be a place we can start. Yeah, that's what we do. So join us next week, ladies and gentlemen. The great Maurice is going to help us out with that, and we're going to actually let me see if I can give you some homework. Let me pull up my own plan here. I have a note on my app called Real Estate Dominance because that's the only way I know how to act. <laughs> All right, so we're going to talk about whoa. Uh, uh, mm. we're probably not going to cover this. <clears throat> we're going to try. It's going to take a, a little bit. 
All that right there. Yeah, right there. It's in the chat. Do me a favor. Grace, text this directly to Maurice. Look at his phone. I'll put it in the lineup for you. Okay. That's what we're going that's that's what we're going after. We're gonna teach you how to sell products, not products. Ninety days. You shouldn't be holding your money. Don't you don't hold her money for fifteen years. Right? Her daddy won't let her. Her daddy is not to let her hold her money into no property for six months. He's not going to do that. Okay? So y'all get ready for that. And that's where we'll go from. Cool. It's right there in the chat. Appreciate you, everybody. Grace, won't you close us out or something? You sit on. There you go. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us on today's real estate training. Great call. Lots of information. Join us this uh, this evening at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, as we have Let's Talk Tuesday. Ms. Dr. Shannon R. Clark will be our speaker. And then those of us who are on the Bureau of Dominant Speakers, join us for the Bureau Keynotes. Ms. Lady Maya will be our speaker for the evening. Glad to have yeah. see you all. Have a great day. Take care. Take care. Love you more, Phil. Love you. All right, everybody. Happy birthday, Susan. You should really be famous for every tear you've ever cried, for everything that's ever happened to you, for all the abuse you've ever been through, for the divorce you've ever been through. You should absolutely be famous for that. Yeah, that's how I think. As a matter of fact, that's how most of us great motivational speakers or platform speakers, we are. I speak over 400 times a year. I command over $40,000 a keynote. $40,000 dollars a keynote i can make thirty thousand dollars in 30 minutes all because my story was one of tragedy and i've learned how to take it to one of great wealth i want to teach you that i want to give to you free no risk no charge no credit card needed free 20 hours of how to get famous for telling your story antonio t smith jr you can plan better you can Dominate. I'm not sure if you already know this, but you're already absolutely perfect. You're already absolutely great. And you're already living in massive abundance. The most important things that you have is not what you have. It's not what you do. It's what you know. Because the people who do know what you need to know to leave the middle class, they're in the top 1% and they control 96% of the world's income. 97% of this world is trading time for money and that is not the way to become rich, it's not the way to become wealthy, and it is absolutely not the way to leave the middle class. There are 7.8 billion people in the world right now and they all wanna learn how to make money and how to leave the middle class. But the way to become a master at anything is to learn all the rules and then bend them to your favor. Right now in this world, there are 2,057 billionaires. Right now. So if you think becoming a billionaire is, a, is a possible, that's 2,057 people that have already proved that impossibility incorrect. And if you think that's crazy, there are 46.8 million millionaires in the world, worldwide right now. Now think about that. 46.8 million millionaires, and that number grows 1,730 millionaires every single day. Money is everywhere. You don't need to max out your credit cards. You don't need to borrow from granddad and grandma. Just look behind me. Look at all the wealth sitting behind me in this junkyard. It's insane how much money is everywhere, and you don't need to go out there and beg, bar, and steal to get it. You just need to know the rules of making money and how to leave the middle class. Essentially, all you need to know is the algorithm of making money, the rules of making money. All you need to know is what to do and how to do it, and you can leave the middle class. Any industry, yoga, golf, underwater basket weaving, clipping fingernails, it doesn't matter. All you have to do is know how to do it, how to get it done, and then find somebody to teach you how to do it, how to get it done, and you will be able to leave the middle class. If you're not getting my point, it's real simple. Whatever you have up here, as long as you understand the rules of leaving the middle class, as long as you understand how to get money, you can take what's up here and get wealthy for what you already have. Right now, the very thing you know up here 
is already being searched a thousand times a second on Google. Someone right now, actually 1,730 people right now, are gonna become a millionaire from the stuff that you have in your head. Why can't this be you? I mean, it's 1,730 people with your ideas that are no better than you, that are gonna leave the middle class, become a millionaire. Why are you not next? So how do we do this? How do we take what you know and apply it to objective money-making secrets and then allow you to leave the middle class? How do we take you from where you are and let you escape to where you wanna go? So how do we make all this money or take all this knowledge from the Warren Buffers, from Elon Musk, how do we take everything that everyone before you has done and how do we take all of that and then put it in your head so you can leave a legacy for your family. My name is Antonio T. Smith Jr. 32 years ago, I lived in a trash can. That's right, from six to 14, I had no running water, no electricity, no anything, and somehow I'm in the top 1% today. Not because I had the right background, not because I had a silver spoon in my mouth, simply because being homeless made me learn how to make money. I retired when I was 29 years old. I'm more than likely younger than you. I'm one of the top 1% income earners in one of the richest countries in the world. What I learned how to do when I was six years old was learn how to generate enough money to eat some cookies so I wouldn't die to death from starvation. From there, I learned how to go from cookies to a meal from a meal to clothes, to clothes, to shelter, to everything else that supplied my necessary needs. When I was six, I was forced to learn how to make money, and now that's what I'm gonna do and help you do. I've seen amazing results. I have my own economy, I've homeschooled my own children, and I wrote a book that teaches you every single thing that I know about making money, every single thing that other people know about making money, and most importantly, all the stuff that we don't tell you. Because the truth is, and you know it like I know it, the most honest, the most hardworking, unselfish people on planet Earth live in the middle class. Yet, your honesty, your unselfishness, your devout religion going self is not enough to get to the top 1% and that's not fair. The second half of my life has been not about how much money I make, but how I will be remembered from all the money that I have made. And I've been trying to teach everybody how to get out the middle class. I'm the crazy guy famous on the internet for trying to create 100,000 millionaires. I've created eight so far. I got a ninth one on the way, all the way from India. That's pretty cool. And what I want to tell you is something very simple. It's been hard. It's been absolutely hard to help people leave the middle class, not because of the people, because the system would rather keep you being someone else's money instead of you having your own economy and having the money come find and flow to you. It was frustrating because I knew that anybody can make money. And if you knew what I knew, you would change your life. Over the last few years, I built a large following of over half a million people every month that pay me to actually, for me, to give them advice. Well, that's been exciting for me. And the cool thing is, I've created thousands of six-figure earners. I've created millionaires. I've created people who can live their dreams and hold on to their legacies. And now my eyes are on you to create you to what you need to be great. I have been teaching my principles and these principles to hundreds of thousands of people around the world, every country, all continents, and anyone who has taken them seriously, written them down and applied them, have a 100% success rate of leaving the middle class. I've taught these secrets to my following and my inner network, and I've watched them go from four figures to five figures, five figures to six figures, seven figures all the way to eight. Everything that I've ever learned, everything I've ever learned from millionaire mentors, billionaire mentors, and everything I learned from being homeless, and everything that got me into the top 1%, I have placed inside of a book. To date, it is the longest book that I've ever written, the most best book that I've ever written, and that book is called The Richest Man and the Trash Can, and I'm offering it to you today for free. This book is gonna show you how to become wealthy into the top 1% and leave the middle class. This book is gonna give you a step-by-step -step plan if you're 30 years old, all the way to 70 years old, how to get into the top 1%. If you're a teenager, how to get to the top 1%. 
if you're a millennial, how to get to the top 1%. It's gonna teach you how to make six figures immediately, teach you how to get to a million dollars immediately, and all that good stuff. Plus, I'm gonna give you the 36 objective laws of leaving the middle class. Plus, I'm gonna give you every last one of my secrets that have made me rich. You have to understand that leaving the middle class is the most important fight that you're gonna have in your life. And to be honest with you, and you can kind of relate to this, it almost takes $450,000 a year just to be broke in America. And that's just in America. If you don't leave the middle class, which is actually an illusion, then you are gonna have a really hard time. Think about it for a second. Some of, most of you are gonna be watching this are gonna be baby boomers, and you've been sold a bad check. They lied to you. Your retirement was not enough for you to live comfortable, and I'm gonna give you this book for free so you can figure out how to triple your retirement and then quadruple your retirement, and then as Grant Cardone would say, 10 extra retirement so you can live the life that's worthy of you. I want you to remember that leaving the middle class is the most important battle that you could ever face in your entire life, especially for your family. So consider this video, this book, your friendly tap on the shoulder. I want to send you a free copy of this book because I believe that abundance is your birthright. I believe that abundance is freedom. And I believe that this book is right for you. In fact, I believe in that so much that I will send you the book for free. All you have to do is cover the cost of shipping. I'll eat the cost. I'll take the loss. And all you have to do is get the book and dominate your reality right now and apply the principles so you can be the best person for your life that is yours. Fill out the form sitting right there to the right. Go ahead, dominate your reality. I can't wait to send you my book. I can't wait to meet you. I can't wait to have you as someone that's been on the journey with me. Antonio T. Smith Jr., you can plant better. You can dominate.